deepest magics are based on ritual and reenactment. We perceive the shrouded realm as below us, so our descent here is a, a performance. And performance coupled with will creates reality. And you're using the Binding Stone to enhance that. Exactly right. This bathosphere Kirken and I engineered focuses its power and our will. If we pretend hard enough to go to the world below us, then inevitably we will get there. It is. The wound is more than a bo from this pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. The Shrouded Realm. Atava. The wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avium and the land above. Ah, oh, my head. What is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirken's suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. The immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sent you to clean up a field with a ritual that will end your life. Take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying, am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior magni, Jack. It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better god. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wants. We're going to let her go. Just like that, our vessel has reached its destination. So I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palacon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. Very probably. Onward. Okay. What's this supposed to be? In my way. We'll need to work together on this.
You sure this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself... any moment now. Be careful, brother. Are you sure this parley of yours is still wise? Yes, stand down. Hi! I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so maybe you'll hear me out? This isn't working. Sandrak, chill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. My friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and, well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you. Ah! Help me, boy! I... I... Why did you send me here? What are you trying to say? I've seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell. Glory. They came. from the Shrouded Realm.
was before the Alori came to Avium? That's like, I, I don't even know how many thousands of years ago.
minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. The Pentasad makes of the Alorian humans a perfect cycle. They will draw magic upwards from the fawns, and our powers will return it. wonders with magic that will astonish us. As long as we are there to heal the wounds they make in their innocence.
will never know rest. They will cherish us, the children of the Pentacide. That hasn't aged well. As soon as humans encountered the Alori, we started slaughtering them.
Kennesaw made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic. They were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. Didn't even give them a chance. All we saw was that they drained magic, so we killed as many of them as we could. As soon as we met them, we drove the rest away. Sandrak, I've got to stop him. We can put all this back together. Jack, it weakens before me. Together we can finish it. No, don't fight it at all. Listen, the Penisod showed me how to... Resist its illusions. It will show you anything it needs to survive. Don't be a coward, boy. Sandra, will you listen to me? Stop attacking it. You came here to help me. I came here to help you fix the wound. God damn it! You're going to get everyone killed, asshole! Uh. 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 Those oaths really have teeth, Ted. Damn. Oh, shit! Like it hurt. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, I'm good. Wh where am I? Smells like you just fell out of the shrouded realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. <clears throat> Hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No, that thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. Told us Avia would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before. Before you eat me. I know, I know. Just stop and listen. Ah! The mouth on you. Somewhere along the way, you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous rook. We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant! You got. It. You got good reason to hate me. To hate all of us. <laughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the French. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, 
He'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. It'll be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my scry stones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part? Kirkin's still all in on it. Telling everyone here they need to settle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Thaddeus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure. Like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisod dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh. It showed you that. To what? Tug at my conscience? No. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. Happy you could finally join us. Your Lori friends were a no-show. They'll be here. I'm done waiting. Air Commanders, prepare to join the Rasharnian assault. Sir, you can't do this. The Pentasod isn't causing the Maladar. It's suffering from it. Sandrak and the Binding Stone You think are... I don't know all of this? He's insane. He literally believes the Pentasod went berserk because it's jealous. Then why are you joining him? The fonts are gone. The Pentasad that made them is broken, unanchored, imploding, and all of Avium is crumbling apart as it lashes out. Nothing else matters. Lucium isn't joining Sandrak's Mad Crusade, Jack. We're using it so we can cauterize the wound at the source. What a crock of shit. Sorry for crashing in. Magna, I got a real blind spot for a lorry. The kid says you need our help? And from what I've heard of your plan, he's right by a mile. And just what help could you possibly give us? Look, lady, I ain't happy to be here either. We've had a bone to pick with your people for, I don't know, a few thousand years? We have a lot to make up for. This is how it's supposed to be. Whatever magic the Magni take from the Ley Lines, the Elori funnel back to where it came from. No corruption, no wound. Yeah, well, what he's showing us squares with my research. 
This whole mess started once the Alori were banished. You know what you're doing is impossible. I'm right next to you. Pentasad is helping. We're tight. Tell me, Jack, did you bring any other visions of perfect harmony that you saw in the Shrouded Realm that are actually relevant to the battle at hand? The Alori can heal the wound? We can start over? It won't happen immediately. We've corrupted so much. But it won't happen at all if we do what you're asking. Selko, get him out of here. Zendara, get your airships ready for transport and... No. I did not just hear that. Selko, relieve the Grand Magnus of command. Bullshit like this is why I live in a cave. Lucium surrendered to Sandrak a month ago. Kalthus is still free. That makes me the ranking officer of the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. Look it up. You're making a mistake you can't undo. Take it up with Lavenry. If you help us, all the territories west of the Orenthals are yours. It's not much, but you'll have a sky. We can work out the rest from there. You're in no position to make such an offer. <clears throat> By law, we're a renegade army, and she's the queen of Kelthus. Damn well do whatever she wants here. We were gonna help regardless, but sure, we'll take bonus freedom. Signal the commanders that there's been a change of plans. Please, sir. You can still help us. You're heading into disaster, Jack. The world ends because of what you chose today. Just give the word, Initiate. Well, that was a whole thing. That's an understatement. Are you doing okay about Kirkin? Of course I'm not. But what's done is done. So do I call you Grand Magnus now, or what? Do you ever give things time to process, Initiate? So you're saying we should table it and go? I am. Are you ready? You've got the ball. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Air Commanders have their final orders, sir. We're ready to embark and engage over the wound. Keep our scrying officers silent until I give the signal. Sandrak still thinks we're coming to help. They won't know what hit him. Just need to get close enough to drop us on Sandrak's flagship. My boys will break away and try to dampen whatever Sandrak's spells have got its hooks in the Pentasod, pulling it through. Good a plan as any, except, well... <clears throat> our airships are powered by magic. How are we supposed to transport the Alori? You ain't. Fellas, time to gussy up. <laughs> All my born days I wanted to see that. We can really do this. Did he really just yell wahoo? I was feeling it. Sir, Roshani and Ashit bearing for the Alori. We can't stop it. You have to, Captain. We can't do this without them. Strip it! Holy shit. Not bad. 
This is all on you now, Initiate. No, no. Last time, it was just up to me. I made the biggest mistake of my life. We're only going to win this one together. Sigil up. <laughs> 